Okay, guys, we're on the home screen. I've got my stuff locked out. Uh, going to watch list. Going to the spy. Uh, usually take my trades on the five. Here's the five minute chart. Um, I'm going to look for puts. I hit options at the bottom. I've got puts pulled up. You could pull calls. I've got puts. I'm making a buy. I'm going to go with the 587s at 60 cents here. I change this limit to market. Okay. Contracts one. Hit the buy and confirm. Now. I can scratch this down and I can go ahead and hit sell change this limit to stop order and I'm gonna put my stop down here at like 50 cents confirm okay done you can go back to the chart there's nothing there right correct now you can hit the dollar sign down at the bottom of the screen it'll bring your option order up here you can just tap on the option itself at the bottom left side, SPY 587, 08, January 25, tap it. There was your order. Now to get it on a chart, you go back to your main screen, hit the Weeble button at the bottom. You're going to tap the SPY option itself right here. Now. You tap the spy option again at the top left of the screen. Now it's on a chart. There's my stop loss at 50 cents that we set. Okay. If I want to move it, I'll just tap it, slide it down, hit the check mark, confirm. Now, if this starts going my way like I want it to, there we go. I'm going to change it as it goes, if it goes more, I can raise it as pro as it starts moving into profit, you know, I could stop here, hit the check mark, right now it's on the border of flip-flopping, so I'm not moving it, but that's how you move your stop, and if I can watch this flush one good time here, under the 9 EMA. Now, if I want to go back and look at the chart right fast, up here at the top left where it says 70 cents, and right under in little letters it says SPY, and it gives the SPY price, just touch right there, and it brings your main SPY chart back up. Okay? Now I can just swipe from left to right, and it's back to my option chart. Okay? Or I can touch the SPY again, 588.31. I'm just going to touch right there. Now there's the main SPY price action. So I can go back and forth between those two windows pretty quick. There it goes moving my way. I'm going to swipe left. Or you can just hit the back arrow up there. And I'm back on my option chart. Now, I don't know what the percentage up I am, so i got to go back again. It's going to tell me I'm up 11%. I'm going to go back to my option chart. I just hit the SPY 587 symbol up here. Okay, now I'm going to move it up. I'm up to 72 cents. Hit the check mark. Okay. Go back again. There, I'm up 22%. Hit that icon again. It's moved to 77, 78 cents. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to leave it trailing just a couple. Well, see, it moves fast, so. And it's touchy a little bit on mobile. Move it up here about 75, 76. Hit the check mark. It'll kick me if it falls. Go back and look. I'm up 26%. Let 
I'm leaving it behind a few pennies, giving it a little room. Ooh, there we go. I'm up 36%. percent We'll move this on up. There we go. There's 86, 87 cents. Is it okay? Okay, it just filled me, see? Now if I go back, I'm out. And that's how you that's how you do it. And of course it keeps going, but if I wanted to go right back in, I could just hit the same. I could hit uh, buy right here. Scroll down again. I change this market order to market, just like I did the first time. However many contracts you want, hit the buy. I don't have to go back to the main screen. Like, and then also the top chart is the option. The bottom is the actual spy right there. I can collapse both with the top right corner arrow or here, here, you know, I should have held. I'm just sitting on support right there a little bit. Okay, so I'll cut the recording there, guys. All right, hope that helps.